Jad here to bring you a team fight breakdown from week four of the European LCS. This week, I wanted to talk about late game team fighting and how best to play around a hyper carry. 46 minutes into Fnatic vs. Rockat, with Rockat having taken five dragons and three barons, the game was sufficiently late. And when the game is this late, any single fight can decide the game. Looking at the teams, Fnatic's composition is built around enabling Reckless's Caitlyn. Lulu and Janna can speed him, shield him, and empower his auto attacks. Malphite can hold people in place. And even Quinn can disarm opponents and delay their actions, or act as a secondary AD carry. Rockat's composition is built more for split pushing, map pressure, and flanks. And for most of the game, it has been successful, hence the five dragons and three barons for Rockat. But in this team fight scenario, a set 5v5 in Fnatic's base, Fnatic's composition shows the superior synergy. To start the fight, Everyone on Rawcat knows the priority is to kill Reckless, and Fnatic knows the priority is for Reckless to deal as much damage as possible with the entire team providing setup and peel. If Reckless is able to stand tall and free hit onto Rawcat, Fnatic will win. If Rawcat managed to lock down Reckless, they have more than enough damage to blow through all of the shields Fnatic can offer him. Sensing the power of Fnatic's five-man force and considering that Rawcat is currently down two inhibitors themselves, they push through in a Fnatic space. And since Rockhat is currently benefiting from Aspect of the Dragon, they're looking to fight quickly and win the game. Let's get into it. During the pre-fight, we see Rockhat pressuring to get inside Fnatic's base, all the while Reckless is on the front line. At first glance, having Reckless up front seems risky, but upon closer inspection, it's Fnatic's best play. Even though Reckless is the priority target for Rockhat, he is also Fnatic's best and longest ranged form of consistent damage in which to push Rockhat back. Rawcat, on the other hand, can't afford to be harassed down by Fnatic and need to start a fight as soon as possible. Game on. Betsy's Rise opens with a root onto Gamsu's Malphite, which is a mistake because he is only a few steps from Reckless. This prompts Reckless to return an auto attack and opens a tiny window in which Rawcat can attempt to catch Reckless. Extinct's Braum flashes to throw down a Glacial Fissure onto Reckless, and this is where the fight and the game came down to milliseconds. If the Glacial Fissure connects, Reckless is knocked up in the air, locked out of Flash, unable to QSS, and most likely dead to the combined damage of Rockat. Fortunately for Reckless, his reaction time is just fast enough, and he flashes back into the safety of his team and a plethora of shields from the supports. This is where the fight turns ugly for Rockat. As they try to path backwards, Freddy, Extinct, and Airwalks have their path cut off by the Fnatic inhibitor and clump closely together. Gamsu lands a perfect three-man ultimate, and Reckless has left to free hit all three of them with his Hurricane Caitlyn. The last attempt to kill Reckless is made by Tabs' Lucian, who flashes forward after the Malphite ult and attempts to burst Reckless down. Unfortunately for Tabs, he dashed straight into a 2v1 against Reckless and Febivan, and is quickly bursted down by a Glitter Lance, a Lulu E, and a couple of Reckless auto attacks. When seeing the fight again, it's important to watch how everyone on Fnatic made their contribution. Spirit's Quinn lands a crucial blinding assault on a Betsy's Rise, making him blind to the fight at large and rendering him useless. Noxiac's Janna knocks Freddy back into the Rockat team, which contributed greatly in them clumping up for the Malphite ultimate. Gamsu was the most obvious major contributor, with his three-man Malphite ultimate to hold Rockat in place. Spirit then lands another blinding assault onto Freddy's Fiora, which makes selecting optimal targets impossible. And lastly, Febivan made large contributions to the fight on his Lulu, not just by being the shield bot for Reckless, but by landing crucial damage to eliminate the last true threat from the Rockat team. All told, Reckless dealt over 7,000 damage to champions in the final team fight alone, and 47% of his team's total damage to champions for the game. Even though Reckless only picked up a single kill in 47 minutes, Fnatic's willingness to funnel him gold through minion kills and play around him in the final team fight was critical to their success. This was the first time all game where Fnatic were able to execute on their composition strengths. And by doing so, they utterly destroyed Rockhead in the final team fight. After the fight, all it took was a march down mid lane and a defense against a desperation backdoor move from Rockhead to give Fnatic a 47 minute win.